Hello everybody, I am FTA and I'm very excited, kind of, to invite you to uh, partake in the FTCR Sonic Colors commentary. Wow, With we're me, already I... lying. I know. With me, I currently have no one's favorite FTCR member, Mikonos fan. Oh, hi. What's up? We have no one's favorite cosplayer, Skylar. Ugh. No one's favorite. No one's favorite breaker of wall smoothies. Great, I love you. <laughs> no one's. No one's. No one's favorite person who recorded this footage, Mia. Oh hi. And no one's favorite person in general, Donnie. Jeez. Yay. <laughs> Make sure to tighten the wrist strap, people. Because I'm used to it. it. It's kind of it's kind of ironic that we we have so many uh, least favorite of people's people here because this is actually one of it my personal least favorite, favorite Sonic games. games. I fucking love this game. I, I, I don't get people who don't like it. We're gonna have somebody in the next part who doesn't. I'd Fuck marry this guy. game. Yeah. Oh. Wow. This LP already just took a turn for the worst. <laughs> so so uh, C Captain Cosplayer, because we haven't uh, you haven't been been around these here parts for a while. Why, That's why not me. Start? That's my like, friend's page. Captain's Cosplay. I Jesus. fucking hate you over? so much. <laughs> uh, Sky, why, 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 don't you, why, don't you, why don't you start with a brief introduction of what you think about this game? I think this game is a huge breath of fresh air, because you had to deal with so many terrible 3D Sonic games, and then Unleashed came along, which like was half of, a brush, half of a breath of a fresh air, but this one was a good breath of fresh air. This was a full half fresh of a air breath, breath of fresh air. <laughs> I've had four right. hours of sleep. <laughs> This was a good idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My favorite thing about Sky Bean it was originally he was just gonna be an asteroid coaster. And about three days ago at one AM was like, um could I could I join for the whole LP please? I'd like to talk about the Sonic <laughs> game. <laughs> I need to fill my one LP per year quota. <laughs> oh, you're getting a really this year. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I freaking love this game so much. I'm gonna most most of what I say in this game is just gonna be me talking about how much I love it. So someone else say something. Uh, like cash Cash debuted in this game for some of the music. Uh, yeah. Cash Cash. Thank you, Donnie, for bringing the mood down. <laughs> Yikes. What do you guys think of my 60 frames per second footage? Whoa. I don't think much since the game isn't in 60 frames, is it? Oh, I did show off the camera. Fuck you, Gareth. <laughs> 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 I I, uh, I want to say Sonic Colors does a lot of of small and some might say pointless things in the game that just to me add a, add a, a depth of, of character and just attention to detail that some of the previous games lacked. This thing here, the pointless, you can move the camera around and watch Sonic run forever. I love it. I don't know why it's there, but it, it, it's, it's kind of like um, fucking around with Mario's face in um, Mario 64. It's just a really Except kind of a bit like, less freaky. It's a really small little nice thing you can do before the game starts. Yeah, I love the song. I wish I could mess around yeah. with Eggman's face before a game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Red Ring, bro. Yeah, it's already bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you love me missing red rings, you'll be happy to know I went out of my way to get precisely fuck all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go back and play Paper Mario instead? <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Chris has kind of become the uh, the Lewis of FTCO. He gets very annoyed when you miss obvious things that you can it's, easily pick it's up. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the core path, even. Um, Miss, Mrs. Mrs. Mia, can we go footage. back in the gameplay to pick up the red ring, please? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Mia, how are you going to become Super Sonic without the red rings? <laughs> They are the tingle to the gameplay, but it'd be good to be Super Sonic again if we could please go back, maybe? Miss me, your <laughs> gameplay is twiggering me. I, I like how... I, I, I like I how we're all just gradually... I, li I like how as we go, we all gradually go into Cream the Rabbit mode as we keep doing this. That, that isn't Cream the Rabbit, that's just... Steven's questionable impression of a certain ethnic race. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I, w I, 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 <laughs> I was doing an impression of TJ when he gets really high pitched, so I don't know what's going on anymore. I absolve myself I will say of one, responsibility. One, one, one small thing that kind of bugs me about the game, I don't like how all the wisps, uh, they're 2D. They're just like a it's flat a like weird. sprite image, it's kind of uh, eh. 
I love this though, because you know, you have the option to destroy the score and to win lives. There's so many like, nice little personal touches in, in this game, which to me just... I, I, know, I know there's certain... Right. Okay, oh. thanks for that. Uh, I know. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Apparently, apparently, uh, apparently, breaking the numbers also results in the Wii having a mind of its own and bringing up the menu. How about that? If you, yeah. If you break the numbers, it breaks the game. Don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> but um, there's just so many like little touches like that that I just I freaking love. And we may as well address it now. Speaking of small touches, the PA system. <laughs> did it again. Yeah. Yes. God yes. Oh my God. Yes. The Eggman. The Eggman PA announcements are the best small thing in this I game. I love them. I wish you could hear them in the game easier, but yeah. it's nice that they're there. I fucking love the PA and I just, so I just, I, I just imagine by the time we get to like Starlight Carnival and Mia has purposely missed one ring too many, Chris is just gonna the fuck this. I can't put up with this anymore. I'll come over to Iowa and re-record wait for you this to myself. See some of the edits I did for this. So why are we playing as Galaxy Sonic? What does that, that even mean? I guess I'm the only one that remembers the Super Mario Galaxy comparisons that people made. I like I like the fact that Donnie, oh. I like the fact that you spent most of yesterday on the uh, Sonic Stadium message board complaining about people calling Lost World a, a Mario clone. That you would go straight for a Mario clone joke, you hypocritical sack of shit. Well, but but I don't actually, <laughs> but I don't actually believe that. Look at me getting hit by those spikes, though. I love this game. Oh, she got oh, one, Chris. Yeah, she got, she got one. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, Chris. <laughs> I did it for you, Chris. I will say though, um, I, I think this was this was the first game to not give us any type of uh, cutscene. You just go straight into gameplay, which is uh, I thought was pretty. There's another one behind the bench. What about Sonic <laughs> One? Sonic Team really liked doing that, and I don't know why. What do you mean? I, I think it, it, it was this and Generations. Have they done it since then? Unleashed. Lost World was Skyscraper Scamper Night, I think. But that's a werehog level, so it doesn't well, well, no, well, no, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, like starting the game as a whole. Normally, oh. you have a cutscene before you go into a, a level. It was this in generations, and I, and I don't think they've done it since. And Sonic One. <laughs> <laughs> that's Sonic One remake coming out this year, am I right? Yeah. yeah. So here we have the uh, first introduction to uh, Roger Craig Smith and uh, Kate Higgins as uh, Sonic and Tails. Of course, Mike Pollock reprising his role as everyone's lovable fat sack of shit, Doctor Eggman. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, th yeah. This was the first like main. Was this like the, one of the first main console games to actually have Roger Craig Smith in it? This was yeah, it. Was, no, 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 this, no, Sonic Freeriders. Yeah. Which I think, from what I understand, I believe they recorded this first. But I think Freeriders mm. came out first. I think I think this may have been the first time they, you know, were paid to do these lines. Mm, and I, okay. I know I know like this, the, the kind of the current cast and and the current scriptwriters, Ken Pontac and Ron Graff, are kind of. Um, it like it they kind of kind of like unleashed, the kind of polarized. And I myself love this cast and I love this script. But I don't have Same. any uh, yeah. no, no issues and no qualms with, with this game. Who the fuck would go to this theme park? This would give me so much anxiety. Fuck this! <laughs> a giant this to get gravity. Yeah, a giant elephant. Well, actually, Chris, uh, there's a certain oh. height above the Earth where uh, <laughs> things can stay proportionally right uh, at the same orbit as Earth because it's falling as fast as it's traveling horizontally. I'm sorry, what I should have said was I wonder what this does to Earth's orbit. I'm sorry, Mr. Smoothies, I failed you. I'm just going to lie down in the fetal position and cry. How did Sonic like, not notice him building this? How did anyone? <laughs> when, when the hell did when the world hell did Sonic's world get a freaking dick climbing out of it? Like, what Where's the, the government? Where's the this? United Nations? <laughs> Where's GUN? It's the space colony arc. <laughs> How many things are fucking floating around in Sonic's world at this point? And that is the official name as of this game, right? Sonic's world. Yes, as as of, as of this world, <laughs> they can't call it Earth. They can't call it Mobius. Sonic. So for the for the presumably millions of years that existed before Sonic the Hedgehog was born, <laughs> this planet was called Sonic's world. And long after he's dead, it will still be called Sonic's world. That's like that's like fucking calling the planet something like Elton John's world. Like what the fuck's gonna happen before and after he's dead? You know. Well, it is his world. I just want to say I love uh, Robot in get this it. scene. Yay! Yay! It's the debut of Orbot in the Sonic game. Thank you, Bob. 
Oh, I mean Cubot, mm. rather. You know. Orbot was in Unleashed. I, li- I like how you... <laughs> Tony, I like how you said it's the uh, reveal of all oh, in a Sonic game, implying <laughs> he's been in other franchises before this point. <laughs> <laughs> I, love play- I love playing this Orbot in Street Fighter 4. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, I, I, look at this wonderful footage I kept in. I love that I, the backspace says BS, by the way. <laughs> 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 ah, beautiful. I like how I like how it, I think I think every single um, fire choose that there's a randomly um, selected like Sonic character name. Yeah. Yes. No, you choose it yourself. No, 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 you choose it. You choose it. You... I chose tails. No, no, no. The name, not the avatar. Yeah, the, the name is the name. So like, yeah, when you it'll be like Emerald or like Vector or like Blaze oh, or whatever. Right, right. Black Knight did that too, didn't it? Is he least one I of the names? I think so. Possibly, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> it should be. If Emerald made it. I think Elise could make it. Oh, Jesus. every single name should just be Werehog. <laughs> <laughs> I think at least is an option. I think I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it in Legends. No, I, will, I, <laughs> I, I will say that I, I, I'm a, a big fan of this game and the controls. One slight misstep I will say is that certain sex, so in at least introduced things like drifting and... <laughs> <laughs> introduced <laughs> things like, like... I can never do those. Introduced things like, drift, Fuck that wall. Introduced things like drifting and uh, sidestepping. In colors, they kind of... um. Uh, they kind of, well, the is that they're kind of stuck in set sequences <laughs> where where you yeah. can't boot. <laughs> <laughs> where you can't boost you and Well, you really hate the walls, don't you? <laughs> where you I swear I get like a little bit better at the game later on, but I still die a lot. <laughs> where uh, where you, I hadn't played this game in like two years before I like started recording this footage, so well, it saved it saves any of us having to record it. So thank you. But exactly. um, but yeah, we like, the it, best it, for FTCR. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care, and even and even do our viewers. We're um only like those, only drifting and um sidestepping only in certain sections, and it, the controls don't feel. It's because the sidestepping has been regulated to the control stick. It's not a shoulder button like it was in, you know, like uh, Unleashed or Unleashed. Um, Generations, and it's kind of that doesn't feel as good. And also the, the the lack of being able to boost when you have to um drift is just it's. I, I wouldn't say it's a massive misstep because it's only put in, it's only in a fraction of sections in the game. It's just something that I would have possibly would have changed. But that's just me. How about you guys? It's, it's one of the few things in the game that doesn't feel up to snuff. <laughs> yeah. Mia fails basically. <laughs> how do Get I the jump? the red rings and now this? I didn't realize that you had to hold down the jump button like a bit more to get that little bit of extra height until like Starlight oh, Carnival. Yeah. We should also mention Sonic has a double jump in this game. Yeah, Isn't how do you guys fantastic? feel about yeah. it? I love the double jump. I like it a lot. I think it's a really good idea, personally. Uh, <laughs> well, I think it makes sense to give a really fast character an extra little way to position himself after a jump. Well, so technically, the Sonic has had the double jump since Sonic Blast, so uh, this is the nothing Sonic. new. Yeah, that marvelous <laughs> game I've definitely played. <laughs> I love the double jump so much. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of welcome signs here. And that, again, just in, in terms of like small touches slash personality, the egg pawns, I love them in this game. They will give them like fucking random little costumes and signs. They're adorable. Mm. And they also have bad Cosplaying playing egg pawns. Cause playing egg pawns. If Skyler right, was Skyler. an egg pawn, he'd be in this game. Oh, that's like that Sonic the Cosplayer guy. So, Smoothies, you've said practically nothing, which is something we're normally thankful for, but uh, what do you think about this game? Great laser usage. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you record the footage, so... <laughs> but, but uh, Smoothies, what, what are your thoughts on Colors? Uh, it's... When it came out, I liked it. And I played it this morning, and it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He, he played this game. <laughs> how, yes. how much of it did you play? I got I got up to Starlight Carnival, and then I was like, oh shit, it's 2.52, I gotta go record Sonic Colors. <laughs> <laughs> FTCR. So, Smoothies, does this get your official seal of I played this game approval? Well, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Smoothie's played this game, but he doesn't give it the approval of the fact that he, he doesn't want to actually acknowledge he's played uh, it. This is one of two Sonic games that I 100%ed, the first one being Shadow. <laughs> oh my <sighs> god! Yeah. I... You were so pure like until now. I 100%ed this game, I 100%ed uh, Unleashed on Wii. I 100%ed Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. 100%ed Generations. So, yay. Anyway. Can I go home? <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting to the low budget levels. Yes, but this has my this has my shit. favorite remix of Tropical Resort. Yeah, I like this. Mm. Tomoyo Otani, I think, did this track. Yeah, yeah um, to did? yeah, Tomoyo Otani, he was he did um he did most of the tracks. He's not he's not actually the sound director. Yeah. Sound director was a uh, Kenichi Toko. Hey guys, I'm um, friends with Tomoyo Otani because he friended me on Facebook. Me too. He accepted my well, you know he what? accepted you... my friend request. Uh, well, you know what, Smoothies? He's always sending me extra lives on Sonic Runners. I'm his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't. I get like two S ranks in this game. One of them is on the second version of the first boss that you fight in Planet Wisp, and the second one's the final boss. To be yeah. fair to you, right now, it's very hard to get S ranks without Wisps and with only one yep. Wisp. Yeah, I don't care about Wisps. Yeah, this game. Um, this game requires you to get points to get your uh your ranks. Points. Yeah, points. And the way you get the most points is using the wisps. And in the beginning of the game, it gives you no wisps, which gives you no points, which makes you feel sad. <laughs> <laughs> which I forget was, was it this cutscene or a later cutscene, which, which they, which uh, Sonic Rex Retro in the stadium had some kind of like ex exclusive thing with Sega where they were allowed to release this cutscene to show people. It, it was, was later. Yeah. I definitely remember this one. There might have been some no, more. No, no, it, it no. Was it, it was the one after this. Yeah, because well, there's, there's two cutscenes that basically are in this exact same location, which just tells Tinkoon of his thing. Yeah, because Tails, I love how you just don't the, believe anything. The one that was revealed had Sonic doing a little moonwalk, and he broke the fourth wall. Oh yeah, wall. the moonwalk. Yeah, I remember that! Because Steven looked at it and he said the animation looked like it was from Jimmy Neutron and he didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, I don't like the in-game cutscene animation. It's not good. Yeah. yeah it's not as fantastic. Yeah, also, I the area map. That. Go ahead. The, the area map music is fucking sexy in this mm. game. I love this it. one was done by Neofumi Hataya, mm. who did you know, Sonic which CD. Which is a good game. It, it's crazy. All... Uh, no. um, <laughs> it, 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 it's crazy because all of all of the um, the kind of level maps have like three minute length tracks for like something you normally spend maybe five seconds on twitching levels. <laughs> I showed off the map music for some about. levels, I think. Exactly. I mean, it it, it kind of reminds me of like in SA1, you could have like nine minutes of music for a level that takes like a minute and a half to complete. You already made that joke, Gareth. No, in this LP, can fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> this might be someone's first FTCR LP, Mia. You got to think about that. Um, yeah, has he said I, yet? Have we said chicken? Uh, let's get down the list. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, will, um, I will say, I, cheer, buddy. I missed that community involvement <laughs> we had around Sonic Colors with Sega, where they were giving like the big sites shit like that. It was nice. I understand why they don't do that anymore, but I'd like to see it come back. Well, I, I think part of that was, um, fuck, what was his name? Uh, his online handle was, I believe, AAUK, who was the, the webmaster of Sonic Rex, which I believe oh, is, yeah, yeah. is, Donnie, what's it, what's it called now? Last Minute something? Yeah, Last, last Minute continue. continue. Okay, yeah. Which, um, so he was obviously a big Sonic fan working for Sega, which is probably why he kind of pushed more for that, which maybe, although I would say with, with Aaron Weber back at Sega of America, we're getting a lot more fan interaction maybe maybe not as memes. much you know and of course crazy fucking memes but um <laughs> you know what I, I, I was thinking about this the other day I, i'm not sure if just the the kind of sonic uh fan sites i, I just I, i'm not sure if they're as big as they were back then you know uh, um, things well, have been in well i don't know about you but i think shut up donnie things have been kind of in a mall well, we just wait for the 25th anniversary. We've had what Sonic Boom and Sonic Lost World since the 20th. Sonic Runners. And Runners. Sonic Runners. Don't forget Sonic Runners, best game ever. <laughs> and and Scott of don't oh, forget fuck. Sonic Dash Two colon Sonic, Sonic Runners is like the stupidest name ever. I I remember when this entire game was leaked like a week before release. <laughs> like people, were, what? yeah, it, it was. What? Yeah, it, it was it was leaked entirely a leak like a week before release, and there were even people streaming it. 
Really? Really? <laughs> yep. Oh God, Gareth can't I would, believe I would, it. I, I wouldn't know. I, would... <laughs> I, I, I know that my favorite game getting leaked is gonna kill me. <laughs> It was as bad as yeah, the Sonic 4 I, leaks, though. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know because I saw the the streams, and I even have like a, a file on my computer with all the original thoughts I had on the game as I first, as I first saw it. Because at the time, I like I, the I was idea just... of you like by the fireside in your library study, <laughs> like in a robe, like hmm, time to write down my thoughts on this new Sonic game. <laughs> Smoking a little pipe, grabbing a pen and a clue. So basically, all of Smoothies' on, review yes. videos, basically. <laughs> Pretty much. Just let me have my fantasy. I got that ring. What now? <laughs> <laughs> Mia, you missed you missed two that were literally just standing above you like less than ten seconds ago. I don't uh, care. Please don't mention it. I don't want to think about it. It's already hard <laughs> enough to watch. So we should we should quickly talk about the, the the level structure is so every world has six levels and generally it starts with the first act will be a full length level and then the previous five will just be kind of like little missions or little like little kind of I don't want to say jokey levels but this thing like this one less than a minute to like complete. Gimmick levels, um, kind of. what, what do you guys think? Yeah, kind of, kind of gimmick levels. What do you guys think of that structure? I don't care. They're short and easy. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> just like smoothies. Yeah, it reminds me of a lot of the classic Sonic games where you could just get through a level within like 30 seconds. It, it was, It's nice. Keeps the pace going. I'm glad they're there, but I wouldn't have went crazy if they'd stuck to two main acts and then extra missions, kind of like Generations. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, the ones that are, like, a minute and a half I like, but there's that, um, what was it, stage three on Tropical Resort, where, like, you had no wisps and you were just running to the right and it's over in 20 seconds. I wouldn't have felt bad if they cut it down to, like, four levels per world. Mm, yeah. Well, it's weird. It does kind of get a bit long, Bonk. like, with the videos <laughs> as well. Well, it's weird, because a lot of the levels, like, as that one there, technically, you can complete them in less than a minute, but to actually get all the... You know, red rings or S rank of they kind of take a bit more challenge, which it, which needs you to have all the wisps to begin with. I love yeah. this dialogue with Eggman. I think Mike Pollock pulls this delivery off fantastically. As we've come to expect, thankfully. I know I say it every time, but this time literally nothing will stop me. I love that line. <laughs> and then Sonic's just like, fuck you. I smack my ass, why not? That is probably the most Japanese slash anime thing they've ever made hit, like they put in one of the games. Like, like the bot spanking, it's not really something you associate with like a western thing. Well, seeing how he did it in Sonic X, I mean... Which again, uh, was a Japanese anime, thank you for proving yeah. my point, Donny. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I think he also does it in the OVA, which is also a Japanese anime. He also flips him off in that one. Release the big boy! Uh, well, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, uh... Probably, probably you know, obviously, not the first person to say this, but the bosses... Not the strongest in the Sonic franchise, but I yeah, because they're easy as shit. But I like fighting. Well, they're all easy the, as shit and annoying. I like fighting all the bosses twice. <laughs> 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 Which that that's something where it's um, I don't know. I don't know if you would call it lazy or maybe it's just because of a lack of time. But yes, you do have to fight every boss, with the exception of, of Eggman's final boss. You know, you do have to fight every single boss twice. Which kind of uh, if you're playing Lost World, you have to fight Eggman's boss twice. See. See, yeah. see, see. Here's the thing: the egg ponds cosplay, the bosses cosplay, everything fucking cosplays in this Not game. Not everything is hell? cosplay, Donnie. Fuck. <laughs> and that's coming from Skyler. <laughs> I do. I will say though, I do call bullshit on the fact that the time after you've defeated the boss, the time goes for like yeah, ten more seconds up. and he's dead. Yeah. What? Stop! 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 <laughs> that's like you know, in SA in SA one, how sometimes randomly they just add ten seconds to your time. Wait, really? I never got that. Really? On, on the uh, Dreamcast version, I would play it occasionally. Just it would add like ten seconds randomly. Yep, it, do, it does that when there's not when there's not an animal pod to break. Because I guess they expected it. I guess they expected you to spend an extra ten seconds trying to jump. On it. Okay, this, this is still better than SA2. Yeah, th this was the cutscene that we first saw Roger Craig Smith's voice and yeah, we saw his voice, voice actors in, in a. <laughs> I saw his voice. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, guys. This isn't. This is Jimmy Neutron. This is fucking Sonic. You're talking about. Enjoy. And the and the right smoothies. Yeah. There's. If you notice that there's no lip syncing, it's pretty close, but it's not. It's it's not. There's no lip syncing. It's not as bad as SA one. I'll say though. I'll, I love how tail. I'll say though that the lip syncing in this is better than most games up to this point, with the possible exception of maybe Unleashed. Yeah, fight me. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic the Fighters me IRL. He, okay, I want to know what a faraway soda would even be. 
it's a soda that that's far away. What are you fucking stupid? <laughs> a long time ago in a soda far, far away. It's, it's like so for me currently, Donny. There's there's sodas in Mexico. It's far away soda. Uh, it's better Star there too. Star Wars is soda unleashed. You and know, this is where so- Donnie has Donnie doesn't have basic human cognitive skills. He doesn't have uh, he is, if it's not in front of him, it doesn't exist. <laughs> He's always focused on what's ahead, not behind him. Donnie, cactuses can have eyes. Uh oh. Okay. Oh God, please don't bring that up. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> God. <laughs> I like Yaka, I'll be honest with you. Of, of all of the uh, kind of pointless extra sidekicks they add in, I like Yaka because he's treated. He's, you know, he's, not, he's not like Chip. He's just kind of, he's just kind of there. He's, kind of he's there. quiet. Shit. <laughs> you just don't want to shut the fuck up. He doesn't have a song where he sings about how great of friends him and Sonic are. Oh, wait, yeah, he does. Never mind. <laughs> I will say, though, that one of my favorite lines in this game, when you consider what we're doing from a robot's point of view, it's actually pretty gruesome. <laughs> it just got dark. <laughs> <laughs> I got a chuckle out of that one. That's such a funny line, man. They really should have brought bigger recycling things. <laughs> I, I love it. It's Eggman's face in the recycling oh, yeah. thing. It's great. I never noticed yeah. that. Again, so, <laughs> so many little touches in this game I, I, I love, you know. Eggman cares about the environment. Uh, this is a, foreshadowing. Oh, that's bad. Uh-oh. You know, it's weird though, because most, most Sonic scripts don't do this, where they, they'll, 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 there'll be like a something happened in the beginning, that's a plot point later on. The uh, Sonic games don't tend to have that kind of... Com- I'm not saying that's complex, but they don't complex. tend to be that complex. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like Omega's arm. <laughs> Just stuck <laughs> inside of that. So that's where he's been. <laughs> Johnson part two, uh, fuck you. Oh, fuck, it ended. This was a mistake. <laughs> We know what we're doing. This was a mistake. 